The stage is now set for a regulated gaming industry right here in the Bahamas. The highly anticipated gaming bill is now in effect with web shops, as of today, operating in a regulated environment. But web shop bosses say they're ready as it's only the beginning for the sweeping changes expected for the local gaming industry. C.S. Gatterley tells us more. Now that the gaming bill is in effect, it will not be business as usual for web shops across the country. Calling it a historical day for the local gaming industry, Island Lux CEO Sebas Bastian says he met with authorities last week on what will be allowed under this regime. Our PDA uh, department, that's not allowed anymore, the mobile bookies, the, that was taken away. So we had to make the rearrangement and shutting that program down. There's um, a lot of other stuff as it relates to player payouts. There, there's some adjustments made with that. And it, it was, it's, a, it's a long, extensive list. I mean, I can't remember all of them right now. But, you know, we're, we're spending this entire week just basically re, 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 reframing a lot of the in, internal policies and procedures and making them compliant with the new act. Already work has begun for Island Luck to operate in a regulated environment as internal adjustments are being made to ensure that they're fully compliant. Moving forward, Bastian says web shop operators have to make a full disclosure to the government, go through the extensive request for proposal process, and then wait to see if they will be granted a license. Meantime, Bastian revealed how accountants are working overtime to ensure that the company pays the government its retroactive tax on December 1st and it's back taxes and penalties on January 12th. We can't just go out there and open up a location like we could have yesterday. Uh, right now, if I wanted to open a new location, I would have to write to the gaming board telling them where it is that I want to open, and then it has to be approved. So every, even though we're not license holders yet, the law, everything in the law, all of the penalties, the, uh, the do's, the don'ts, all that is applicable today. Our news team caught up with FML CEO Craig Flowers, who declined to comment on the matter on camera, but he did tell us that this is the first step in a very long process, and he plans to address the issue in its entirety in the coming days. C.S. Scatterly, ZNS Network News.